This video will provide an overview of how to manage plant hierarchy settings in a multi-project. Each project within a multi-project has OS settings that must be made. You can open the settings for a project by right-clicking on it and selecting Plant Hierarchy, then Settings. In this dialog, you can set the starting number of levels and the maximum number of character for each level's name. When block icons get generated for the OS, they have an identification name given to each one. If the HID is included in that ID, you can set which levels are used by checking the Included in HID. When the OS is compiled, one level of the plant hierarchy is used to generate the Overview Area buttons in the OS. The OS Area setting allows you to select which level. When the OS is compiled and the Derived Picture Hierarchy from the Plant Hierarchy box is checked, then the OS Hierarchy is completely derived from Somatic Manager's Plant View using the above settings. If you are using the Asset Management functionality, then checking the Derived Diagnostic Screens from the Plant Hierarchy will automatically generate the diagnostic pictures and tags ensuring an OS compile. If you make a change to a project settings, you'll be asked to confirm passing the change down to the other hierarchy folders in the project, and you'll need to update the rest of the multi-project. Open Plant Hierarchy, then Settings, from the multi-project level at the top, and select the project you just made the change in as the source, then click OK to propagate the changes to all projects. Once again, you'll be asked to acknowledge the change. The change we made was to the Servers project, so opening Plant Hierarchy, then Settings from another project, such as PROJ00, will show that the changes have indeed been updated to the multi-project. And this concludes the video.